Okay, at last, we have all our preliminaries for the nebular hypothesis out there, the things that I must describe, some of the physics that's going to go on. So here we go. Here's how the solar system got started. So it turns out that like many places in our galaxy, about where, where our solar system exists now, there was a bunch of dust. bunch of dust like this and of course as we discussed earlier the word nebula always refers to dust and there's a lot of it in our galaxy and the dust has a particular composition it's 75% uh, hydrogen and about 25% helium these two things are uh, basically the most abundant elements in the universe really just those two simple atoms and um, what sort of started to happen is when you have a bunch of dust like this of course you know that uh, gravity is always going to be around and what gravity tends to do is pull things together and so um, I'll sort of draw a few arrows on these things here indicating that the ball of gas probably didn't start expanding like this like I wouldn't draw arrows going outwards like this there's nothing at the moment that would have caused it to do that okay so you sort of wouldn't draw a bunch of arrows going outwards but what gravity likely did through one of those physics things that we need here is that it started to pull the dust together so maybe like there's a clump right there might sort of get a attracted to this clump right here and like this clump right here might get attracted to that clump right there and it would just start to come together and um, pretty much that's where the solar system came from. A bunch of dust that was pulled together by gravity. That's it.